Hi there, I'm working on this in Qashqai today. It's got a start-stop system which is designed to save fuel. Uh, a lot of people complain that the start-stop system doesn't work for them. Uh, effectively what it does when you put the car into neutral and you've got the, the clutch out, the engine will cut off and it will restart once you go into gear and start driving off. No need to, to uh, turn the ignition or do anything else than to start the car. Um, so with the Nissan Qashqai, you have, this is a J10 by the way, but you have a, a button down here, which is auto off, and that disconnects the, um, the start stop. When would you do that? If you are running short of power, then, uh, or, or battery power, uh, then that's when you would do it. You would just disconnect it, uh, because it does take a lot of power. Now, seeing that, sorry about the fingers there, seeing that, um, it takes a lot of power, that is often the reason why it doesn't work because uh, with the COVID battery, which I've discussed in a previous video, you'll find that a, the, there's not a lot of uh, energy left in the battery uh, because this lost its potential to store it. So what can you do uh, to, to restart that, uh, that system? Well, you could disconnect the battery, take it out and put it on a charger during this weather and during the COVID times, I'd recommend doing it once a week. Now, normally you've never had to do that before, but uh, certainly, as you can see, it's absolutely Baltic outside. This, this cold weather does not uh, allow the batteries to perform to full uh, functionality, and that's because, just like most chemical reactions, cold um, does not, it, it hinders the chemical reactions. So uh, the effect is less power being developed. Other things that can cause it is if you're an alternator, which which supplies the the charge for the to the battery to charge it up, it is not uh, sufficiently strong, or if it's or if it's weak. Uh, the other things, as I mentioned in the previous video, video is if you're just doing small journeys, uh, the alternator doesn't get sufficient time to really start depositing power into the battery. Um, other things um, that can cause it, as I've mentioned, is sulfonated plates. On your battery so there's quite a lot of things that can actually work to kill your battery um, so the first thing to do is to take the battery out now i'm going to pop around to the front i'm going to talk about this just while i'm here so i've popped the bonnet open already okay and first thing you want to do is take away the negative terminal and the reason why you take the negative out is because you can see that this positive terminal is very close to that chassis so let's just say you're you're taking it out what's going to happen you're going to short that okay now when you short a battery there's always a potential for the thing to explode so you want to be taking off the negative first okay disconnect then the positive then you you'll notice that the battery is still held in by these clamps so you take those off and take that off usually with 10 millimeter uh, screws is this just clamps the battery down because vibrations uh, potholes and batteries shaking out will also damage the cells in the battery. Now, down here you've got the, the tray which the battery sits in and it just pops up. It's located in by these little dimples which locate in. Now that's quite important because uh, in modern cars they try to put a smaller battery as they can possibly get away with to save uh, fuel. Um, so if you're finding that your battery's not, you've got extra uh, electrics on there, the battery's not beefy enough, then what you can do is put a larger battery with more coal cranking amps on it, uh, but it has to fit in this tray and it has to be of sufficient height so it doesn't actually hit the, the top of the bonnet. It has to fit nicely. Other thing to mention is the terminal posts, which these clamps uh, grab onto. Uh, they have to also be compatible with your battery. Now, that is more so when you're looking at uh, cars which are imported, such as Japanese cars, they may have, or American cars, they may have a different size clamps, in which case uh, you've got the option of either just going with the, the same battery as was supplied, or alternatively changing the, uh, the clamps on here. Okay, uh, I was talking earlier about why uh, the alternator may also struggle uh, to develop power, uh, into the battery is if these clamps are not sufficiently tightened on, if there's corrosion on the on the clamps as well, uh, or if there's any uh, weakness in the electrical uh, wires connecting the, the the whole system together. Okay, I'm going to go in and uh, start charging that battery. 